In this lesson, we'll begin a review of Writing Test 7, Section 2, and let's take a look at the first passage. Remember, there are four passages on the writing section, SAT and PSAT 11 questions each. NASA, a space program with down-to-earth benefits. The National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA, is a U.S. government agency whose budget is frequently many times contested. So question one, you can really predict this, I think, without looking at the choices we have frequently, right? This is correct because it's not underlined. And then we have many times. Why would we say frequently many times? That's redundant or repetitive. We definitely don't need the many times. And so the answer is we're gonna delete it. Many people think of NASA's programs as trivial. In truth, the agency has a widespread positive effect on society by serving as a catalyst for innovation and scientific understanding to create jobs and showing humanity its place within the universe. So we have a couple of questions here. Question two, the agency has a widespread positive effect on society. And if you look at the choices, this is really a type of diction question. They're, they're really testing the correct spelling of a word. And we see effect with an E, effect with an A. These are homophones, words that sound alike, but are spelled differently and different meaning. And an effect with an E is a noun effect with an A is a verb. And you have to ask yourself, what part of speech do we want? Has a widespread effect on society? We definitely want a noun here, so it's an effect. We're also testing the preposition that follows. Is it an effect on or effect to? This is an idiomatic error. And this one, you really have to kind of just test it out. You could even create a sentence in your head. You know, he has a widespread effect on his audience or to his audience. It's on, right? And so the answer here is no change. It is A. And question three, we read this earlier. We've got serving as a catalyst for innovation and scientific understanding to create jobs and showing humanity its place within the universe. So we have serving. We have a comma to create. And then we have and showing after the, the Oxford comma with the and. This is parallel structure. Serving, showing, these are both participles. Why would we change it to an infinitive? To create. It's not parallel. And so we just need creating jobs for that one. And it is B. All right, let's take a look at the next paragraph. In 1958, the program's first year, very few people believed that it was even possible for a manned spacecraft to leave the atmosphere and orbit Earth. But by initiating and collaborating on projects such as the Apollo moon missions, the space shuttle program, the Hubble Space Telescope, and unmanned planetary exploration, NASA has continually challenged its scientists and engineers to do things that were previously thought impossible. So let's take a look at four. We're really listing these projects um, by NASA, right? The, Ap the Apollo moon missions, well, that's one, comma. The space shuttle program, comma. The Hubble space telescope, comma. Then we have the Oxford comma and the and. We're just listing these. We certainly need a comma here, not a semicolon. That separates two independent clauses. And the Oxford comma always appears before the and, not after. And so the answer here is A, it's no change. All right, let's take a look at five. All along, these NASA projects have greatly increased international cooperation. So let's take a look at the question here in five. Which choice most effectively sets up the list of examples that follow? We have to see, is this a list that follows of, that would support this, this first sentence of increasing international cooperation? Let's take a look. A short list of inventions elaborated by NASA includes communication satellites, invisible braces, and cordless tools. All these inventions spawns new industries, and with those industries, jobs. And so, no, this is not about cooperation. This is about the new the technology or the developments that NASA has, has promoted, and, it, and they've followed since that. We've got these examples of this communication satellites, these braces. This is not cooperation. This is how NASA has generated a steady stream of technology, right? Evidence-based writing, so look for the clues. And then six, here, this is a diction question. A short list of inventions elaborated by NASA. Do we want elaborate? Elaborate, this is a, a, a correct word usage. Elaborate means to give more details. Would you elaborate on your point? This certainly is, doesn't apply here. A list of inventions 
developed by NASA, right? Developed is the best choice. And let's take a look. We'll do one more and then we'll stop this video. All these inventions spawns new industries and with those industries jobs, NASA also sponsors the small business innovation research and small business technology transfer programs, which are specifically designed to support technological development in private sector. So spawn, by the way, is the same word as develop, right? It they have created these these new industries. But this, if you look at the choices, is testing tents all of these inventions spawns present tense do we want the present tense so let's look for clues in the sentence remember in six we changed that to developed it's past tense and we also have let's see all these industries are specifically designed to support right this is we want to be parallel here we want past tense and we also had generated in, in uh, question five. These are all past tense. So look for clues in the sentence and we just simply want spawned.